Wednesday, the day for my ENT appointment. Finally! Okay, we're here. That's a parking garage. And that's the medical office building. Ashley works in there. She'll be going back to work pretty soon. But that's where she works in this building. Am I on time? Just. It's Loma Linda. And that's the hospital where both the babies were born. Ah, we have a snail in our ear. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? This camera probably cannot uh, capture it. He has given me two different kinds of uh, ciproflaxin and clotrimazole. Oh, the clotrimazole is like an athlete's foot cream. And the other is an antibiotic. I'm supposed to pick them up. The pharmacy. And he also gave me a hearing aid request. I told him he says, have you ever had hearing aid? No. Do you, you think you could, that's something you could do? And I said, no. <laughs> I'm very stubborn. I said, I, my son gave me those earbuds so you can listen to stuff like your phone music or whatever. Or phone call. I said, I can't even put those in my ear. They itch so badly. So he's giving me this antibiotic and cream, which I think there's an inner ear, there's an ear infection is my opinion. I don't know. <clears throat> and in a couple weeks time I go back and see a PA physician assistant. They're going to check out my ears and see if they're any different. Right now it's got flaky skin in there and they itch and I sound all nasally. So we'll see what happens. He says and then you can go from there. He says in if you're still having the symptoms that you're having, they'll take a, a, a sample or something. They'll get in there with a Q-tip or something and try to find out exactly what's causing this. I don't want to do hearing aids. It's just like the lower. I have my uppers in, eh, but the lowers I don't. They never fit. They, they make me have a headache and... So I never wear those at all. The upper ones, I rarely wear them unless I go out in public so I can smile. Because it's not comfortable. It's like having to wear gloves all the time. Wearing gloves in the winter outside is fine, but if you have to wear them all the time, it's a pain in the butt. Oh golly Moses, it's overcast still. The sun's trying to fight his way through the clouds supposed to be kind of like this all week which is fine with me I can get out and do some stuff out in the yard or whatever you know I cooked a bunch of stuff I have some breakfasts and some suppers I have to go to the store to get some more well I get half and half and I water it down but I use it mostly in cooking I don't drink milk last night what did I have oh, I had some ice cream and usually 10-15 minutes after I eat dairy, I have to run off to the bathroom, which is what happened. But that's just the way my system works. I don't know. It could be some kind of allergens. Lately, the allergens have been crazy. You can see pollen flying out of the trees. So, who knows? Who knows what heart lurks in the hearts of men? <laughs> I do. Sex. Stopped it. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, stopped at a place called Nothing Bunt Cakes. This is a little, like, personal size bunt cake, carrot, $6.50. That's how much that costs. And that's how little it is. A regular size bunt cake can be $30 up to $70, depending on what you have. Incredibly expensive, but they are very good. Now I have to figure out how to get back home from here. I don't normally go this way. I stopped at every, nothing but bunt cakes. I went to Walmart and picked up some half and half and a couple things. So, And then in here in the shop, all of a sudden I started getting panicky again. and starting to have to breathe deep. I don't like that feeling. 
At the doctor's, I weighed 270, which is 10 pounds more than I've been weighing at home, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know. It's muscle. All up here, right? <laughs> I told the guy that weighed me, I said, you know, I weigh 10 more, I pay, weigh 10 pounds more if I smile. And then he weighed me, I said, holy crap. I said, well, I smiled. <sighs> My medicine, the Walgreens called me, and one of them is $15, and the other one is $75. The antibiotic is $75. So, I'm going to have to try to beg with them, use good RX or Walgreens, whatever, to try to get it down in price, because I think the antibiotic will help. The anti-itch cream, like athletes put cream, clomidotrol or clomidotide, whatever it is called, I have that at home, so. but the antibiotic, I don't. Oh, well, here we go now. I used a good RX card and it came to $90 for eardrops. I don't have that kind of money. I tried running my card through thinking I might have enough. I don't have enough. It's an antibiotic. So the doctor thinks this might be an infection, you see, but I can't do anything about it. I may have to go home and look at my bank account online and see if there's anything I can do moving things around or what. $90 for a two week supply of eardrops. <sighs> yep, messed up. I guess I'm under a lot of stress because of my political views and worried to death what's going to happen. And unless something major happens, it looks like we're in for a lot of trouble. <sighs> you think you can't afford medicine now, people. If the wrong party gets in there, you're never going to be afford uh, be able to afford it and only the right people are going to be allowed to live. You think I'm kidding. I'm not. It's very depressing. My ears are stuffed up. I know I have an inner ear. I told you. I told everybody for the last few weeks that I'm sure it's an inner ear infection. And the doctor must think so or he wouldn't have prescribed eardrops, medicated eardrops, that have uh, antibiotic in them. I can't afford them. They're a hundred dollars. And the girl said, well, before the RX card, they were over 150. For two weeks? That's insane. That is insane. What do I have to do? Move somewhere else so that I have health care? It'll be a shitty living, but I'll have health care? Woo woo. I I I I I this is outrageous. Totally outrageous. I am depressed. <laughs> Quoting Slim Pickens in Blazing Saddles. I am depressed. <laughs> oh, brother. I've just been really bummed out. Um, this is later. This is 9 o'clock at night. Right before I'm going to try to put this up. I know it's Wednesday and today there's a joke out there for you, but sometimes you just gotta have a really bad headache. Mostly up here. Can you see it? No. Mostly up here. I'm just really bumming. I don't want hearing aids. I don't want that. I want to get rid of this problem. I think I'll be able to hear if I can get rid of the problem. The hearing test, I was in sinus mode, you know? Uh, I I don't know. The, the ladies t tested me with a cochlear thing on the side of my head that supposedly reads the impulses, but not through your 
in your eardrum, so it's a little more um, real, uh, not real, a little true, true to the reading or whatever, I don't know. But I don't want that. I can't afford the medicine. I'm going to be checking into some programs that they have in California for people that can't afford stuff. And I have only a few days to do that. This is such a friggin' drag. I just want to live in peace. And then there's a song that I really love by Max Rabe and the Palace Orchestra called Verveter. Verveter, good. It's a sad song. It's real sad. And the video they have accompanying it on YouTube is really sad as well. But the lyrics are, you'll be okay. You'll get over it. You'll get through it. And I have on my Spotify, I have Max Rabe. And on the way to the doctor, it played right as I got there. And then after the doctor, I was maybe a block down the road to where I was going, and it played again. And then as I left another place, it played again. So it was almost like somebody, like my dad. I've been thinking I am. It's like my dad's telling me it'll be okay. Because sometimes when I really stress out, I play the piano. So I came home and I was playing the piano. I ended up playing a song that he used to play without making mistakes. So I really think my dad was around today. I mean, there are days when I don't want to live anymore. It's like, what's the point? When I ran my my debit card at, the, at Walgreens, it said it was unaccepted. It wouldn't accept it. When I got home, I checked the email and it said, or no, it was a message from the bank saying, were you trying to ring up a thing at Walgreens? I said, yes. Okay, well, you'll have to try again or something. And I don't know. I bought some fabric. That supposedly, Joanne Fabrics was having a big sale, and I probably effed up big time. $38 worth of various fabrics. Uh, one for a picnic table tablecloth. One for an outfit for me, a comfortable summer outfit I'm going to make. One for an apron to replace my aprons, uh, cooking apron. And one to make toaster cover and, and a mixer cover. That's And one to make a top, a halter top thing. All the, that's it. And, uh... I don't know, maybe it was a fucking rip-off. Just like Bed Bath & Beyond. When they closed up, they had these places saying, Oh, well, you can get this for a fairly low price. And I checked it out. I thought I did. And I ordered... What I ordered was an air fryer and some things, liners in the in air fryer and something else. Never, never came. I couldn't get a hold of anybody. There was no way to get a hold of anybody. I probably was ripped off again. And maybe they were trying to max out my bank account. I don't know. Just, you know, do it to somebody who's got tons of money and it can, can spare you a, a few thousand. I can't. You scammer people, you. Oh, man. Why can't we just all live a decent life? existence. I hope I can go to sleep tonight. I'll take some coffee or mil turmeric milk or something. i just bumming really big time. I've been kind of crying. And uh, tomorrow's Thursday and tomorrow I watch the little tiny baby guy because mom and dad are checking out the step up for next Time at school for Spency. So I don't know what the time thing is on that, but I'll show up early in the morning at the door and watch little fella until they come back. I think they'll be gone all day like they were Monday. So I'm just going to have to cheer up, I guess, you know. 
being around those little babies are just so... He wants to talk so bad. I don't know. What, what, what word should I force him to learn? <laughs> Poop. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> shit for brains. He doesn't have teeth, so he can't say shit for brains. He says, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What should he say? What will his first word be? Ooh. <laughs> Spencer's was dog. Brian's was more. I don't know what mine was. Hot, I think. And I still say it every day. I burn my fingers somehow. Boo. <laughs> yeah, I just... I hope I have some kind of dream to shake me out of this doldrums. I'll set my alarm to get up on time and... Oh my god. I don't know. I shouldn't complain. Everything pretty much is taken care of. Except stupid health care. People that have health care in your country, don't complain too much. Not too much. I had to wait three months for this appointment today. <sighs> Upward and onward.